Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about operation ID in transaction search in App Insights. And guys, operation ID, this is really useful feature and let's understand how. So imagine there are 2000 total requests and 16,000 total traces in Azure App Insights. So of course, one request, it can have multiple traces and out of 2000, 1999 requests are successful and there is one failed request and now it's Monday and now you want to fix the error which occurred on last Friday so you will find the traces only for that failed request okay and guys why this is so by default even if you open a single trace for a specific request by default app insights it shows the traces for that request as well as other requests as well and hence we want to find the traces only for that failed request so what we will do so we will open any of the trust for that failed request we will copy the operation id and then we will search based on that operation id and thus we will get all the traces only for that failed request so in simple words one operation id is equal to one request and guys don't worry even if you are not getting let's see it in action so guys we are in azure portal and let's open our app insights and let's open this my test app insights 22 let's scroll down and let's click on transaction search and here i will select last 30 days and apply and if i scroll down you can see we have many results okay now let's go down and find any one of the failed requests so yeah so you can see we have this one of the failed request and you see it this request it has failed on 10th of july at 7:06 pm so let's open this particular trace but on the left hand side if you see there are many traces and these traces are from this failed request as well as all the other requests as well. But now we want to find only the traces for this particular failed request. So here if you can follow my mouse we have this operation id. So let's copy it and let's go back to the transaction search again and let's enter that operation id over here and let's hit enter. and now if you see we have the traces only for that failed request and let's open this second one that is which, which says request and you can see on the left hand side we can see only those two traces so having such kind of traces is really important so based on that we can find till what point our request was successful in request lifecycle and where exactly it failed